Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man and first time special guest, Michael. How's it going, guys? Hello, everyone. Hey, yo. What's up? Yeah, so today marks the 10th anniversary of Twilight Princess released in North America for the GameCube. Wow, really? One of my favorite games of all time. Oh, yeah, definitely. I had this game in reserve for a year and a half. Because it kept getting pushed back. And it, I had it in reserve at EB Games. And then by the time I got it out, I think it was GameStop. <laughs> yeah, I miss EB Games. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah those should, were the days. It should be ECW Games. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true because the ECW Wrestling Games actually sucked. But anyway... Yeah, this game, man, I mean, so much hype and anticipation for this one, and it truly lived up to all the hype. I was a part of the Zelda MSing group that has so many members, and we all just talked about it and hyped it up and watched for spoilers and warned people not to post any spoilers, or if they did, post a warning. Uh, it took me a year to finally fully play through this whole game because I just had a busy year. and then I, I always love this howling at the title. It's so epic. Yeah. Absolutely. And, then and I'd li also like to add, uh, this was one of the two reasons why I actually bought a Nintendo Wii. That's cool. And I... Uh, and everything's opposite on the yeah. Nintendo Wii. Yeah. <laughs> and the night I got this, I was getting ready to play it. Or the day I got it, I was getting ready to play it the afternoon. And my boss called me into work. I'm like, oh, but I liked him. I liked the job. And I said, I got plenty of time to play this at night, so... I got to play it all night, and oh man, it just reminds me of Ocarina of Time when I first played it. Just that first time you sit down and play it, you really get drawn into the story and everything. It's real epic. It's a, it's, it's essentially Ocarina of Time on steroids. Yep, exactly. Good point. Without that stupid owl. Yeah. Oh yeah, and a stupid. Well, yeah, you, know, you have a fairy, but you got a Midna who's kind of annoying, but not as she's at least more witty and more charismatic. I like her. Freaking Navi. Yeah. Um, oh wait! Screw the screw the owl. What about the damn fairy in Ocarina of Time? I, I was gonna say that <laughs> Navi sucked. Um, but, Ronnie, but, uh, listen, listen. Yeah. Hey, listen. Um, uh, see this right here. Th this this is the game where I found out that not all Zelda games are like sequels to one another or whatever. Because I seen this right here, and he tells Link right here. So this is your first time going to Hyrule Castle Town, is it? This is going to be your first time meeting Zelda. And I'm thinking, no, it's not. That's Link you're talking to, dude. Do you not know who this is? This is the Hero of Time. Isn't this a sequel? And then people on the MSN Zelda community said, no, here's what's going on. They explained to me the what was unofficial at the time, the timeline, and how these beings are like Zelda, Ganon, and Link are reincarnated spirits. and not the exact same original characters. Um and all that stuff so that's where i learned he's retired he's now living a simpler life yeah and I, all I'm, i can say is the abgn confused the hell out of me with his timeline <laughs> <But you laughs> that is wonder. one of my favorite videos he's ever done yeah. yes Agreed. i have to wonder though is opponent also a reincarnation perhaps yeah I'd like to remember, think so. Remember the April Fool's joke like 10 years ago when they said uh, they're going to make a futuristic Zelda game and there's going to be a motorcycle, an F-Zero type motorcycle <laughs> where it's like a, a Pona? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I tried to watch it on YouTube a few years ago, but they made everything upside down. The Legend of Zelda oh, Blade yeah. Runner. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it really turned our world upside down. All right. So Twilight Princess starts off slow. Go ahead. They really flipped the script. Yeah. Um, so Twilight Princess right here starts off slow and boring at first, but it does get much more interesting. I always love the relationship between Link and the kids in this game. Yeah. But then uh, Chris Hansen had to have Link take a seat. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you. I'm <laughs> sure you about to say. <laughs> oh, Come Link, watch that Link. Take Link. a seat right here. Link, I need you to have a seat well, right here. You know, I don't see anybody taking a seat over there, though. Uh, Link, you say right Put here. Put sword down. Link, you say right here. I want to use my master sword on you. Oh. What is up with that? 
No, actually, that wouldn't be true because Link never talks. I, I didn't mean to show up here. Is this <laughs> okay? Well, well, going on timeline, I was kind of wondering this when we, you know, we we did this before, but okay, anyways, um, like, does Link live inside of the Great Deku Tree? Hmm. 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 I never thought about that. Well, the nut doesn't fall too far from the tree. Ah, oh, fail. <laughs> Welcome to the Ronnie uh, Pun Fest. Right. Let's play Pun Mower for uh, PC. I don't know. Now you're trying too hard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and so right well, here. Ronnie doesn't uh, make a good exit like George Costanza. So. Yeah, I don't go out uh, <laughs> on top. On a high note. Yep. Yeah, on a high note, yeah. All right, so Link right here is pretty much the beginning of the game. We're just learning how to do stuff. Doing his power lifting. Man, yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was weird how rupees just pop out from underneath rocks. Yeah, I wish that happened in real life. <laughs> See, the thing, one thing is, one thing I don't, one thing about this game that's annoying though is every time you restart it, it like the rupee will pop up again like you got it for the first time. Yeah, that's annoying. I remember I got into an argument with someone on the Zelda MSN group, and actually I didn't really know. I think I said something like, well, there's no such thing as rupees in real life. And someone goes, yes, there is. There are rupees in real life in India. And, and, which they're right, but the way they flipped out as fanboys, I'm like, okay, calm down. Jeez. Well, that's what you get, Ronnie. <laughs> what, what That's I right. For what? Don't you know, Ron? You got to make sure all your facts are right on the internet. Right. <laughs> Pretty horsey. And this is oh, I forgot her name. I guess we'll find out here in a second. I Ilya, I think. Oh yeah. Did I tell you All to wash my horse? Nag you with and eventually forget you. Yeah. He's got the uh, I would totally bang you look. The what? Ayatollah of rock and roller? What? Actually, uh, what you said was better than what I said, so. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you said. I was just saying that I would bang the horse. No big deal. Quit horsing around, J-Man. Um, well, I mean, it's time to blow some grass. Yeah. You get it. Well, I, I mean, you get a piece that's of what grass. she said. You get a piece of grass instead of getting a piece of ass. So. Yeah. As long as you get one of those two things, it's all good. Yeah. All right, so now we get to ride the right. horsey. Nobody rides for free. And a peanut, uh, yeah, Epona is like, you better pass me that shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so as you ride, sorry, as you ride on Mr. Red here, you gotta talk to some more people in the village. Put some peanut butter on my lips. Yeah. Damn it. So welcome to Let's Play Mr. Red for the GameCube. So you play as Wilbur and yeah. Mr. Red. In today's episode, he'll be herding goats. Yeah. <laughs> No, Wilbur. Uh, how do you play this game? Uh, uh, uh. I hated that damn goat thing, by the way. Yeah, I didn't like that part of the game either. I guess, I don't know what the point of that was to get you to learn how to ride a pony better. I, mean, I don't know. I guess. They make you do it twice, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, okay, the second time is fine. I don't, but like the first time, I disagree with it. Too early in the game, it, you know, it should have been like a side quest or something. Yeah. Well, you can you can do it a third time for a heart piece. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Well, it should have been just one time for a heart piece, and then maybe like fifty rupees or you know some shit like that. Yeah. Maybe like a bigger uh, a quill, you know. I wish you could run at a full gallop through this village and just trample everything. Yeah. You evil bastard. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the mayor of Orton or Randy Orton Village, wherever we're at. Yep. Doubles as a sumo wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to, like, sit in the middle of the ring. Or outside yeah. the ring. Yeah. 
All right, so now we can do the most fun part of the game. Herd goats. Ugh. Yeah, talk about getting your goat. <laughs> or Randy Orton. I don't know Ranch. why your your puns always make me laugh. I don't know what that says about me, but it's true. It's, it's so bad that it makes people laugh. Like, oh, jeez, shut up. <laughs> Sound like bear there for a minute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're making a horse's ass out of yourself. Right. Yeah. So he's talking to the head horse right here. I guess the uh, leader of this ranch. Now we got to herd the, the goats to the barn. Oh, he called you Bud. Yeah. Was Burhan the commentary? Get it, Bud. Or, uh, I love how they Mr. attack Mr. you. Mr. Oh, Mr. Leahy, right yeah. Mr. Leahy commentating on Let's Play. Oh, get it. Come on, Randy. You got to herd the goats in the barn, Bud. You got to catch all the rickies. Yeah. I love how it says goat in. It's so cheesy. Yeah, goat in. It's, yeah, it's like it's like goat in. A yeah. winner is you. Come on. Yeah. Uh oh, that one's pissed. Oh, ouch. Wait, you can, you can whoop with A. You can whoop. Man. Come on, goat. Whoop. Get in there. Were you raised in a barn? Hey, uh, shut yeah. the Push the A button. And, yeah. Push the A button and do your best Chris Berman impersonation. <laughs> what? I, I got it. I got it, man. It, it went, over, whoosh, went over my head. I feel sorry for you, Ronnie, if you don't know who Chris Berman is. No, I know who Chris Berman is. I don't get the joke. Just go, I got go with you two. I, I yeah. got it. I got it. I'll so. look it up. I'll look it up. Chris Berman, the A button. Yeah, somehow. No. Okay. It's the whoop. Oh, whoop. Oh, that's the saying, like, this team gave right. that team the whoop or something. Yeah, he, he, he got the ball and he keeps running. Whoop. Oh, okay. I, I remember. I've, I've heard that before. So it's funny for two seconds. That's that right. I've I seen the longest yard. I get it. All right. So no. and whatever you seen the replacements. All right. So thankfully, got that sorry part of the game over with. Well, don't remember. Uh, don't remember. I'm just gonna shut up for now. <laughs> But well, don't remember to save your game. Okay. To subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. You've been, you've been playing a while. Why don't you take a break? Right, yeah. We've been playing for 13 minutes, and you didn't do much at all. Would you like to take a break? That was only 13 <laughs> minutes? What? Yep. Yep. All right, so that is the end of part one of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. See you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. Uh, this I'm is, Michael. This is a, a, a conspiracy. Yeah. Yep. God bless and take care. Whoop. <laughs> yep. Whoop. Whoop. There take care, everyone. Whoop. Whoop. Big Goldberg. I fell.